you have to survive at least until the end of the bull run, guys. Not financial advice. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Extra peace around 62 says slightly in the green today, right? In the green today. Um, because Bitcoin did move up, guys, as well. About almost 37k. Now, we have a lot to talk about today, guys. First things first. I mean, Archie just posted or tweeted out a, an image of, that says green light. Hmm. Green light, huh? Is it go time? I mean, green light does fall from Mr. Pool. Remember, green light is prosperity, if I'm not mistaken. Blue light is an avalanche, right? And then Big Short states things are better. They better hope be, guys. They better, they better be because I don't know what he's talking about, but I hope he's talking about the markets, right? The reason being is because I have this feeling, guys. I have this strange feeling that we're on the cusp of where things go parabolic, right? Where everyone just FOMOs in and it's going to get crazy. That's the feeling I have, right? Now, it's because obviously I look to the what? I've been looking at these um, stocks, uh, the stocks guys, right? The stock market, such as the Dow Jones. I mean, it looks awfully close to that, new, uh, to that previous all-time high, doesn't it, guys? Right? We're not too far off from it. The SPX as well. Look at that. TLT, right? I even looked at the Russell 2000 guys yesterday, and I was trying to figure out. Okay, it sure seems like all these things are pointing where up. Hopefully, guys. SPX seasonality is back on track after the recent snapback rally. The historical path suggests a year-end rally to four thousand eight hundred dollars, guys. If this happens, I'm I'm going to fall off my chair at least. Nine times, guys, purposefully, right? If it happens, but we have to talk about the stock market, guys, because it, cryptos follow it, right? And stock market is looking quite well, as well as cryptocurrencies, guys. I I just have the strange feeling that we're on the cusp. No, no, a lot of people have been talking about twenty twenty five, right? Twenty twenty five, end of twenty twenty five, around twenty twenty five is when the bull market will end, right? And that's where I'm getting. My, my, my sirens go off, guys, right? It's because if, when everyone says something, the opposite usually occurs. So maybe in 2024, we top out. I have no clue, guys. I, I'm probably wrong, but let's wait and see. From XRP, Crypto 101, no FOMO, no leverage. Buy the dips, use cold storage, and hold, guys, and hodl. Right? Not financial advice, as well, add that in there. But don't F this up, guys. Listen to this person say, Ral Pal say all these things guys right so things are about to get very exciting pay very close attention to this video guys communicate it i've gone out a lot to say don't piss up you know buy and hold don't use leverage use cold storage do the right thing don't get too speculative don't fomo just don't fuck this up these are this, this is the biggest opportunity we've ever been given i've said that all the way from 2020 onwards and in fact i said it all the way back in 2012. it's the biggest macro trade of all time well, not necessarily in my opinion, guys, because I do believe after the collapse happens, you could probably invest, right? Because this, 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 this is just my belief, guys. This is a, this is a wealth transfer occurring as we speak. But after the collapse, there will still be another round of it. Why? Because during the collapse, what happens? Things should plummet in price, right? And then if you have money at that point, guys, you could buy everything on the cheap, on the penny, right? And then you can even get more that, that at that point is just gener generational wealth, guys, right? So the most important thing is to, as he says right here, to to be very careful, guys, in this bull run, right? But obviously you should probably take your money out, right? A lot of money out or a majority of your portfolio out, guys, before the collapse occurs, right? And then after the collapse, if you invest again, guys, at that point. It's just raining money, right? Not financial advice, but uh, I'm just seeing things, guys, at this point. I'm just observing things. Don't fuck this up. And if you're not a crypto person, technology is one of the biggest opportunities we've ever been given, the exponential age. Again, don't fuck this up. Just be careful. Just buy, hold, have a long-term time horizon, and learn how to take pain. And when there is pain, you buy more. Unless something changes the thesis that suddenly... We're all going to turn to ne Neanderthals and nobody's going to use technology ever again. It is going up. 
It's as simple as that. And unless something changes that we're not breaking the financial system and that the internet has disappeared, we will go to blockchain technology. It's as simple as that. That's all you need to know. Everything else is just fucking noise. Beautifully stated, guys, right? Looking at the longer term horizon. Now, maybe things are looking good because breaking shorts are done for. Why? Because Israel Hamas reached tentative uh, United States broker deal. And and supposedly over here they say, I mean, Big Short did say five right here. And then what came out it was this, guys. They came to an agreement that there were three dozen of women and children held hostage in exchange for a five-day pause and fighting, right? Now, if this is the case, I mean... I don't know if this is guys because over here they say White House says no deal between Israel and Hamas yet, right? So maybe they're 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 brewing some type of deal, guys, or whatnot. Um, hopefully peace will be brought forth. But again, things are looking quite well, right? This is what I believe, guys. But things are aligning, right? Things are lining up. The stars are aligning, guys, for everything to play out perfectly, right? S stock market is doing great. Um, cryptos are doing well, right? Amazing, actually. They've been pumping, but it's just going to get crazier and crazier by the day, guys. Okay, and events as well should accelerate. Now, the nature of ice. Now, guys, we're starting from part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is called quite interesting. Remember, the financial reset is 11 19 23. Now, I don't think it's today, guys, right? Well, today's almost literally done and over with. That's the first thing, but I mean, the reason why he says this is because. The prime, the fifth prime is 11, the eighth prime number is 19, and the ninth prime is 23, okay, which connects to 5, 8, and 9. It's crazy because the number 5, 8, 9, guys, it seems like they're getting to all different communities, right, this number. But remember, what Bearable Gamma 2, 3 did say, 5, 8, 9 it is a number, right, perhaps pertains towards price, I'm not quite sure about that, but 5, 8, 9 means a lot of different things according to the Riddlers who created the number, I, I don't know if they created the number 589, right, I'm, I'm guessing it was from ancient times or whatever, but the meaning behind it has a lot of different meanings attached to it, guys, okay, um, I mean, BG123 literally stated that, guys, not not me, right, the Riddler is it, um, today, though, <laughs> a crazy amount of crazy things happened, okay, new, Trump beats Biden for the first time in more than a dozen polls, wow, guys, what's about to happen, guys, here it is, wow. Donald Trump, we have a 46 percent. Oh, Biden, my. 44. And this is significant because this is the first time in the history of our poll that former President Trump beats President Biden still within the margin of error. But that's insane, guys. 46 percent Donald Trump to 44 percent Joe Biden. This something is brewing as we can literally tell. Still significant. Yeah, in 2019, 2020, when Trump was president, he trailed all of them. This year, he's trailed all of them in our poll. First time in more than a dozen polls, we've seen a result like this. Some of the other ingredients that go into that, Biden has long had an advantage over Trump on likability. Look, at the start of this year, 39% said they had a positive view of Biden, barely 30 of Trump. We've seen consistently a gap like this. Now, the gap is going mm. 36 positive on both, and actually, Biden, one point more negative than Trump. Wow, guys, we told you. What? What? Uh, okay, so remember when we talked about the, how the pendulum will swing, guys, right? The pendulum swings. We have seen this side become what? Savages, right? Turn turn the economy to ass. Everything's going where? Downhill. And the people have been seeing this occur, right? That was the game plan from the beginning of time. Now, it seems like they want this side to win, guys, right? Maybe this side. It may not be Donald Trump who comes back into play, but it can be. Who knows? Trump. That's been a significant advantage for Biden. Our poll says that advantage, at least for now, may be gone. And we talked about younger voters on foreign policy, and it's right. So, so things are looking quite well. Well, the art of the comeback, Trump. Wait, w was this an actual book, guys? That's insane, right? All by design. Mm hmm. I mean, it, it just it's just crazier by the second, guys. Right. Now, Forbes today as well came out, guys. Today. Right on this specific date, by the way, U.S. dollar collapse, quote unquote, acceleration, thirty-three point seven trillion dollars shock. Fed inflation warning makes the bullish case for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and crypto pr price surge. Look what they see right here. Um, they surge right in the threat of global wartime inflation, and 
if you go here now now as fierce president ACs could be about to kill Bitcoin legendary billionaire investor Ray Dalio has warned the swelling uh, oh wow swelling right swell in AC set pile of 33.7 trillion dollars which is what again 33.7 is what so 3 plus 7 is 10 right plus 3 is 13 stop it uh, 13 well 33.7 trillion dollars 13 parentheses is about to reach an, an inflection point something that one researcher has called the bullish case for Bitcoin so it seems like the debt market is about to implode right the collapse is close all signs point to a financial collapse very soon right it sure seems like it why even from the bank for international settlements ha has warned that the global financial system is on the brink of a 100 trillion dollar black swan quote unquote black swan event a perfect swarm a, a perfect storm large enough to wipe out the entire world economy guys right now do you guys see the black swan that this is why the CEOs, the executives of all these companies, right, institutions have been selling and selling and selling and selling. Why? Because they know what's upcoming. It's it, right? So brace for impact, guys. It's funny. Why did Beeple make this 365 days ago today? So, right, he, he was a famous NFT mate, uh, artist, guys, right? is selling millions of millions and millions of making millions of dollars and he posted on November 19th 2022 this picture where tether is about to blow up it's a ticking time bomb right and you guys see the cult members surrounding it hail tether and but they don't see that it, it, it's literally a ticking time bomb right boom and explodes that's interesting today huh which co connects to clinical 5A9. Not to mention pool, Mr. Pool Deltas for 1119 as well. We see all these images, right? It's funny how we see United States as well, but look at this. What's happening to the people, right? Space rising, why? Because when we type in Spain, guys, look what's happening here. I mean, I haven't seen this on the news or mainstream anywhere, guys, right? Only on Twitter. Look at this, guys. Insanity, right? Seems like people are fully um going and being space awoken right pull weighted posted weight on 10 p.m on 11 16 11 16 codes numer numerically for 11 19 hmm patience guys interesting now a lot of people have pointed to uh, to towards um today is the quote unquote reset guys but I don't really see how it could be I mean maybe there's a possibility but who knows it in, uh, at the end guys right now the founder for today's zero comes from Baba Cooks KXRP community just want to see again 85% of the buys since the riddle craze are in the green right exactly um I mean I was buying since the bear market 20 cents right 30 cents I, I don't know guys but if, if you're in the red somehow right now Maybe you want to tune your strategy, right? Perhaps. Not financial advice. Anybody can do whatever. But a lot of people are shilling a lot of crazy coins out there, right? Just be careful, guys, and at the end of the day. Nothing is ever guaranteed as well. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. And never financial advice. But anyways, guys, we're going to see you. See ya.